Today I'm going to show you how you can use GPS tab to get more miles and more money. After you created your GPS tab account, you will notice all of your units are here on the map. This will include your ELD drivers, asset trackers, as well as dash cameras, and it will show you the last ping location. As you scroll under the map, you will have an itemized list of all of your units. You can quickly filter by either driver, GPS tracker, or camera. You also have the ability to start typing in either the driver name or any other unit name to quickly find what you're looking for. From here, you're able to set a geofence location or share your location with your customer. When you choose geofence, you would enter the bill of lading number, an email or emails that you wish to have the link sent to, as well as the location and the geofence radius. Once that unit crosses the geofence radius plane, your customer then will get an email notification that that unit is nearby. You can also utilize the share location. Again, you would enter the bill of lading number, the email or emails you wish to send to, and how long you want that customer to have the link for. Once you email the link, that customer then would be able to see that unit on their own GPS tab portal, letting customers and brokers know that you have this functionality will help you acquire more loads and keep your current customer base happy. After you have found the unit you need and click the blue view button on the right hand side. From here you have a calendar at the top where you can sort by a specific time frame. Once you do that you will then have their current average speed let's say for the last 24 hours. You will also have a breadcrumb history trail here on this map on the route that they took. As you continue to scroll down, again you will have your driver and your current pinged location as well as your current duty status. On the driver app, they have the ability to use the check-in and check-out functionality which will help record detention time. Your driver is also able to send chat messages and attachments to you as well as you to them. They can also upload any paperwork via the GPS tab app and then you can have the records here to view and download to your personal computer. If you want to run a driver report, again make sure you select the proper time frame you're looking for, then click the green report button. You have the option to use the ch check-in, chat, trip, and driving habits. Select as many or as few boxes as you need and then click generate. Once this report generates for the last 24 hours, it'll show how many miles they drove, the driver information. If they utilize check-in or any chat functionality, you would have your records here. Then you'll have your trip recorded, for in this case for the last 24 hours. It will also give you their average speed how many speeding events they had, acceleration and hard braking. You will be able to download and print this report directly from your admin portal. Now if you're looking to get more information on the driver logs, you would want to go to the ELD section on the left hand side. Once you go to that drop down, you would choose logs. At this page, you will have all of your list of drivers. You can quickly sort and type in your driver's name, or you can search by vehicle. Once you found the driver you're clicking for, simply click on their name and it will bring you into their current day's log. At the top you'll have their hours of service clock and their hours of service graph. Underneath the graph will show any and all duty status changes. You'll be able to see if the driver made the change if the system automatically put them into driving or the interval location and if admin made any changes that would appear here as well. Keep in mind your drivers are able to utilize adverse driving conditions on the GPS tab app. If they are stuck in a traffic accident or severe weather they can utilize adverse driving to gain an extra two hours of driving per day. They also have the ability to use split sleeper, both the 8 and 2 rule set and the 7 and 3 rule set. 
This way your drivers can safely stay on the road longer and make more money. If your driver had any issues on the road or maybe entered the wrong duty status, you'll be able to assist them here from the back end. First you'd want to click the edit button. Once you do that, you'll want to choose insert duty status. From here you can use this toggle bar to set the time. You can also utilize the clock functionality right here. You would want to choose what duty status you need them to change to. Put in all information here. Keep in mind that you will also need to have a note or annotation for all duty status changes that were being recorded in the system. After you would hit save, your driver would receive a notification on the GPS tab app to accept changes. Once the driver accepts their changes, your admin app and driver app will be synced to the proper hours of service. As you scroll down underneath their logs, you will notice their profile form. The driver would need to fill this out on the GPS tab app and make sure that everything is correct on there. This is also where you will see their signature and any DVIR that they do from today or the previous day. Now that we've gotten your driver's logs, let's talk about your vehicles. Vehicle maintenance is very expensive and very important to our customers. Again, if you go on the left hand side under the ELD drop down, choose vehicles. Now that we're in vehicles, you will have all of their information here as well as any telematics that they may have. Once you click on that, you will then get their fuel economy, fuel level, battery voltage, coolant temperature, and oil temperature. If for whatever reason you had any issues on the road, you will get notifications up here at the top. This will quickly help you diagnose the problem while your driver is in motion. If your driver calls and has any issues with the check engine light on the dash, he can simply come in here, choose fault codes, and we will provide all information related to that check engine light so that you know if this is an emergency and he needs to get off the road or if it's something minor that he can continue on with his day. We strongly recommend that you keep an eye on the notification bell at the top. That way if there's any issues with your vehicles on the road, you can quickly diagnose the problem. Now that we've gone over your vehicles, another important feature that we have to offer is a mileage report by state for your IFTA filing. Once you choose reports, you go to the right hand side and click new report. You can filter by quarter or do a custom range. You can also do IFTA via our asset tracker, our ELD, or our cameras. Once you select which report you're looking for, you can view and download once the system gets the documents uploaded. From here, you will see the state that this truck drove in and all identified and unidentified miles for the selected time frame that you chose. This will help you quickly do your IFTA filing every quarter. Another key feature of GPS tab is to the ability to share API tokens with your brokers. You can access your API tokens up in the right hand corner. Click on your profile and scroll down to API token. Once you're in here, all you need to do is hit generate new token, name it the broker customer that's requiring it, and generate the token. Once you have this, all you need to do is highlight, copy and paste, and send that to your broker. This will give them fleet visibility to ensure that you can get the best loads possible with them. Other things to keep in mind are that all of your monthly statements can be found right here. Here you'll be able to view all of your monthly statements as well as download them for your accounting purposes. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions about GPS tab. We're here to help you get more miles and more money.